Deutsch, 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 German, German, Alemann, Alemann, Princess Silke, oh, Fragen über Hamburg, more questions about Hamburg, yeah, what would I do if I would go to Hamburg uh, and never been there, well, I would do quickly the Landungsbrücken thing, I would take like half an hour or 20 minutes at the most, take the subway, have a quick peek, because you can't see the port more than that. I don't think you're allowed to go in where the containers are. I would not go to the, uh, oh God, there is a TV tower. I mean, maybe it's reno renovated by this time. It's dis ugly, disgusting. You can see the city from above, so buy a postcard. <laughs> don't do it. So that's what I would do. And if I had, I would definitely, I mean, look, Hamburg is a German city and German cities are German cities. like. <laughs> what is there to see? It's a city. So what is special? Well, I would go and take the subway to Blankenese. I would just do that because it's so cute. Take take the it's the S-Bahn Blankenese walk through the downtown center, which is small, irrelevant, and take the stairs down to the waterfront. And again, this, maybe another stair up and get to know this little tiny area, that's all. To the waterfront, look around, take the stairs up. Would I go to Krenhaus? Well, depends on what the relationship you have with who live there. I don't know, I, it's like half an hour walking distance. It's pretty, it's, it's a good walk because there's trees, it's very nice. Yeah, it's pretty, okay. That's, that's interesting. Sure. I did that walk. Yeah, on the left side of the street where the bakery is. There's a lot of things you can see, but let's say that. Zuldorf. Yeah, well, not really. I did not live there and I went there to visit. Not. I think this is all. Blankenese and go back. Don't waste your time. Furlough, it's solely relevant, did you actually needed to know how long is that of a walking distance from the Isarbrook? Go to Ostdorf, Ostdorfer Bahn, that's like taller buildings. Okay, they have to take a bus though to get there. And from there, oh yeah, from there you could go Grindelalli actually. That, that's actually a good turn. Yeah, just have a look. I think it's called Geschwister Schule. I looked it up at the map a few days ago. And then from there, go up instead and take the bus down to, I think it's called Grindel Alley. Eventually, it's and go all the way down to where university is. It's not that it's not that relevant to watch it, but yeah, it's a good way. And I don't even need to get out of the bus <laughs> to pass where the rehearsals were from the Evangelische Center am Damtor. And just go all the way to Dam Tour, and from there you can actually go walking to Jungfenstich, maybe by the Steinway Piano um, Store Center. That's very new. Then go to the Alster and downtown. That's, that's a good tour. Yeah, and if you have another day, which is totally not relevant, yeah, I hear Altona, but I, I would I would go to the prettier places, which is Eimsbüttel. There's also a sub that goes up above the up above, and you can see like Alpa Wohnung. From there, there's the Ise Markt. <clears throat> it's a little bit more like of a nicer setting. Altona is really not that cool. I know I, I walked around Altona. I would go shopping there, but it's not really that nice. It's just convenient, and I would go shopping to a different place too, which is totally not recommendable okay from time to time shall i move from altona away now sternchance it was ugly shoulder blood i'm shoulder blood it was ugly it was cheap ugly i, I don't su suggest any of that 
No, there were no Asian restaurants. I, I saw on the map, I think what that bar was, it's not Asian restaurant, and what this Schreibwarenhandel was, it's another Asian restaurant. There were none of that. My, my mother worked at, okay, so there is an inner circle of Subway, Suck Square, and up on the right side, I think it's called Barnbeck. There she worked, and from there it goes down to, God, I forgot, there is an inner shopping mall which is about two, two subway stations separate and has two floors. Yeah, well, and I needed stuff, not that I liked it. Yeah, I got myself a camera lens in one of those stores, a used one when I went on a trip. There's a car stall. Yeah, I used to go up there when I was, when I visited my mother at her office and we would go have food, which is also located in that very mall. Her, in the cantina, the dining hall from her, her job and you know, all the jobs who worked at La Behörde, the government. It's not interesting. Yeah, and then, then we're done with <laughs> Hamburg. We go back home, I think. Yeah, maybe there's new stuff going on. I don't know if the jazz is good, it's still there, but I would definitely have a peek. If you're interested in me, <laughs> in me, if you want to know what little Zilka grew up and went, absolutely yes. Usually, cars are small in, in Germany because people think ecologically, on one hand, not to pollute and people also think about parking space because it was not marked by space but only the space you can grab like here it's marked this is one space no matter how big your large your car is that's what you're gonna fit in and there it's not it was also not that you had to pay for it it's like in paris same thing you park where you can the smaller the car the higher the chances that you find a parking space I still would not have a car in Hamburg if I would live there. I don't see the purpose why. Not in the city. 